Now it's your turn. For these last three sections of the drawing, I want you to choose the colors that seem appropriate and attempt to finish out the rendering. You experience the steps we took for each section, a base color, a secondary color, shadows, highlights, and details. Now it's your turn to think it through. First, let's render the two low hills in the front. Yes, I meant to skip the hill on the left below the trees for now. Here's what I did. I used yellow ochre as a base color and added highlights along the tops of the hills with off-white. Then I added lots of unblended strokes onto the front hill with olive green, light green, and yellow. I did the same with the hill behind it, but I used medium brown and olive green. You could see I really filled the area with strokes and didn't leave a lot of blank spots. Now let's finish up the hill below the trees on the left. We needed to do the front hills first so we could layer on the cast shadows. Here's what I did. I filled in the area first with a base of olive green and added some bright green over it. I added a light green highlight along the top. Then I drew the shape of the shrubs with medium brown and filled them in. I did the same for the shadow under them and I used black to accent the darkest parts. Now for your finishing touches. Use your charcoal pencil to add subtle outlines to darken areas of the drawing. You need to look at your photo reference to see where the darkest areas are. You can see some of my charcoal pencil details in the lesson. Be careful to not over outline and turn it into a cartoon.